day or good evening, people of the internet future. How are you? Thanks for clicking on my video about my review of my glam bag for Ipsy. July 2022, the ocean, the one with the starfish. Oh, and see here? I decided to put my glam bag plus yellow right here, right next to the other July bag. So it's all about July, 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 and it's the end of July. So here's the bag. It has a texture, and then a lot of people aren't mentioning, so I will. The line. It's a nice yellow line. It has, because of what they stored in it during shipping, it has a really nice ocean and sunshine scent. And check out the items I'm about to show you. It's all sun and ocean uh, themed. And I wanted to point out that usually the Ipsy bags have the patch of Ipsy. They do, this one doesn't, but I did notice something new is that there's this little horizontal tag and it says glam bag on it. You're gonna see it back, you're gonna see it in reverse. But it says glam bag on it and that is so, that's new. That is so cool. This is going to be like, yeah, you could, this is, uh, this whole bag is obviously for travel. You're gonna see with the items that I'll show you. But this is obvious, this is, a, this is very much one that you put in your purse and it's waterproof. like with damp swimsuits or summer clothing, definitely, because there is like a, a water resistantness to it. This is a nice little bag, I love it. Sitting right next to my June one that I use regularly. So these are some great bags. So let me move on to first I have two add-ons. My first add-on is a 350 partied out, it's a little sleeping mask. I can't wait to use it. I haven't used one of these in years. It's a refreshment side, I'm just, like I'm wearing the headband for it, ideal for washing my face, which I, I did a little while ago to sample some of my items. But this will, it'll really aid with sleep because it keeps it dark. And also the eyes and aging of the eyes, how you lay your head really matters, you know, to not, to prevent lines and puffiness. I have not owned one of these little thingies since I was like a little kid. And the wear, you know, the little elastic headband wore out. And this is one I've had for a little while. I've laundered it three times. This is also refreshments and it doesn't wear out when you launder it. So because of that, I decided to get this. I can't wait to use it. And it says partied out, which basically describes me. When I was younger, I would work hard, play hard, and now I'm all tuckered out and done. So partied out is me. <laughs> and that's only one of two refreshments items that I got. But the second item, item second add-on, is not a refreshments, but the OCA. I decided to purchase this, the facial cleanser. cleanser. I think it's pronounced OCA. And I used it when I first got this package today. And it has like that professional scent that higher end cosmetics and, and skincare has. It's made with seaweed. I liked it very much. There's another cleanser I'm gonna talk about, but I liked it a lot. It's not enough for me to cut into this other cleanser, but it's seaweed. And after I used it, I looked at myself in the mirror and I really enjoyed the quality of my skin and how it looked. But really quickly, I wanted to take a weird segue into this other cleanser that I got in October Glam Bag Plus. And last October was another time that Ipsy raised their prices. And I'm like... You know, they said, oh, better products. This time around, I really feel like Ipsy has. But I remember I got this in my October Glam Bag Plus, and it was one of the ones Ipsy chose for me. It's a face cleanser called Mazai. I want to cut in and, and talk about it right now really briefly. So I received this in my October Glam Bag Plus last year, and here I am using it now in July, all these months later, because I had other facial cleansers to use through. And I've been using it, first of all, it tightens my pores when I use it for hours after use, which is incredible. And then the second of all, when I use it, and I use my other skincare, I have like this calm, happy feeling that I, I really haven't had with other face cleansers. And it says like zen feeling on the label, if you could see it. And then third of all, right on top of it, it says multi-balancing effect, which I thought was just a bunch of nonsense and meant nothing. But after I use it, for a couple hours later, it looks like, and I'm not wearing any makeup on, and when I look in the mirror, it looks like I put highlighter on.
but it's my actual like natural cleaned skin and that's amazing i've never i didn't even know facial cleansers done this so this is like a diamond in the rough i i i kind of get that same effect with glow recipe but it's something else it's like your face is naturally highlighted i've never experienced that with a facial cleanser let me know if you've ever had something like that what brand or product it was i'm really interested So all in all, I love the OCA, but I don't, it's not, I don't love OCA enough to cut into this cleanser. I'm going to finish off this full-time cleanser, but this was a very much an unexpected surprise. It just goes to show that when you do unboxing, sometimes you're like not thrilled, but months later, you, it's like a pleasant surprise. For me, that's, that's like when I buy clothing off season. Six months later, that sweater that I just bought on sale now in July. I'm really going to enjoy. So it's like that with Ipsy. I think I'm like right down to there. But this was like a really rare find that, you know, wasn't such a big deal when I saw it. So anyway, moving on to this glam bag. Another refreshments item. And this glam bag was like, definitely like Ipsy's got like, you covered thinking that you're traveling. And all the wonderful ocean scents and colors. But this Ipsy chose for me. This was the refreshments, the citrus uh spritz you know mm, yes yeah, the stuff this is like a good soap ipsy thought you put it in like your little actually like right in this bag while traveling it's that citrus scent that wakes you up in the morning in your shower so i'm so into it and i love refreshments as i mentioned in my other videos it also has a little recess there it is right over my head yeah for your thumb it's about the size of like a ho hockey puck or a laka if you eat latkes, let me know. Please leave a comment. There's one of those nice little hockey puck latkes. But I'm like ridiculously looking forward to using my refreshments items. I like refreshments so much. Next item that Ipsy chose for me is this. You can't read it, but it's Miss Flower and Mr. B. So that's, you know, pretty sexy. And I apologize for that wanton sexual imagery. But it's a basic lotion. I tried it on today. It's not as like as... You know, upscale is like the better skin care that you get in subscription boxes. But it's, honestly, it's it's about the quality of the little hotel lotions that you get, that you see in hotels. Uh, there's like a little bit of a nice sunny, honey f smell that uh, reminds you of all the wonderful summer and ocean scents. So that's nice. But it's like a simple little basic daytime. And I used only used it once on like both of my forearms to try it out. It's, it's a really basic lotion. I'll, I'll probably use it up just during the day if you feel dry. Uh, little kids coming out of the swimming pool after they dry off will probably enjoy this lotion. Let's see. What's the next item? Oh, okay. Now we're moving into the two eye makeups that Ipsy chose for me. Except, no, we're not because I forgot my shampoo set. This is what I chose. This is what I chose. So I covered the two add-ons and what I chose. Yeah. Head candy. I'm going to cut in and talk about this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I haven't tried it yet, but I will. So the shampoo and conditioner on the left and middle says that it's for dry, damaged, and brittle hair that has become frail over time and that it's packed with vitamins, minerals, and amino acids to, and also heat-damaged hair. And then on the right, that's a leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner uh, helps to restore your elasticity in your hair, and it fights against, it combats humidity and frizz and protects against heat damage, all of which my hair really needs, and it smells so nice. It smells like ocean seaweed. Um, I, this is obviously a bag for travel, but I'm so looking forward to using these hair care products during my staycation. Okay, next item is the two eye makeup items. First of all, this Prestige Eyeliner, Ipsy chose for me. The color is called Smoky Green. I'm wearing it now, not in my waterline, but just up to it. And it was precise enough that I think it looks like I actually went into my waterline, but I didn't. But let me know if you think it's green. I think it looks pretty brown, but the shade is Smoky Green. This is from Prestige Cosmetics. And the eye, Ipsy, I, I've been telling Ipsy that I like eyeliners because for the longest time I wasn't getting them. 
So I've been telling Ipsy, it's like a like a feedback loop. Like you get onliners and you like them and you put a good review about it, so you keep getting more. With Ipsy, I tend to like the Glam Bag eyeliners that I get better than the Glam Bag Plus eyeliners. So this is from Prestige Cosmetics. It's waterproof, which is ideal for people swimming and wearing eyeliner and everything. So I this is good quality. I love the way it applied. I love the way it looks. I put it on hours ago. It's waterproof. But like about an hour or two after I put it on, I thought, how can I test the waterproof of this -ness? So I decided to watch Beaches. And that was that that's not even like fake tears. Those are real, genuine tears. Watch Beaches. You know, that movie's sad because in the end Barbara Hershey dies. And yes, I just spoiled a, I just spoiled a movie from 1988. <laughs> what do you think of that, friends of the internet future? So last but certainly not least, the Peace de la Resistance. Ipsy chose this for me. A cool tone palette. This is one of those items that looks so much nicer in person than, than on a camera. The mosaic, first of all, the packaging, I'm like, oh. After I produce this video, I'm going to write re my Ipsy reviews, and I'm going to say to Ipsy, please, Ipsy, please include more palettes like this. This is the first palette that, that I received from Ipsy, that the first one in a long time, a year ago, I got Nomad, uh, this, the Venice Simplon Express, that made me happy, but that was like last November. But this is the first Ipsy eyeshadow full-size palette that really like made me want to play. I'm going to cut in a little bit of footage talking more about it. So here when I swatched it, when I swatched the middle row, it disappeared right into my wrist. The top row was a really nice warm, all these nice warm shades. And then bottom row was cool shades all the way. So today I cut, cre no, I went from lash to brow on design, this very nice base neutral. And that was after using my good Ace Beauté base. And I'm using my little Seize the Day. And this is where I use the base, the Ace Beauté base. I'm using my newly acquired Seize the Day brush as a pointer. So from lash to brow, I use this as a base. And then I cut my crease with Fame over here, filled below, below the crease. With Modern Twist, this is a really lovely aqua. It looks a little strange in this light, but this aqua is terrific. Here's the mirror behind here. Yeah, good. The light doesn't shine right in. It's a very good quality mirror. And then I packed on a shimmer with this shade called per Picture Perfect. But then I also packed on with a Huda Beauty uh, shimmer as well. These blues and aquas are going to be my favorite, but these warms I'm really happy with as well. I, I could not wait to play with this. I'm going to play with this a lot. Now, this is a $12.50 palette, so there was like fallout and there was kickback, but like, yeah, you can see right here with fame, I really dug into this and cut my crease and enjoyed it. So this is just a really fun palette to play with. One of my favorites and it was in Glam Bag as opposed to Glam Bag Plus or Glam Bag X. Really pretty palette. So yeah, I had so much fun. I had so much fun playing with this. And the mirror is a good quality. Like, like I just said in the part. But look at that. Look at that. I, yeah, like I just reviewed the, the middle row is a neutral. The bottom is my cools. The top row are warm. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. This is one of the happiest things I've had in Glam Bag. Very, very good. The tile makes me think, in person you have to see it, but the tile makes me think of homes I've seen in Florida. So it just reinforces the whole ocean and sun theme of this bag. I love it. So during the production of this video, friends, I was going off on a little Bette Midler tangent during the production of uh, B-roll and such, and on the internet it said that Bet Bet Midler died, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> it's like killing my happy ocean-themed Ipsy glam bag mood. Yes. Oh, what the heck was the Bet Midler? Oh, she, she got hurt. No, Bet. Midler. To be
be a rumor. So Bette Midler, with all the young kids today on the internet, they started a she died rumor. But it's not true. So thank God. <laughs> America's treasure Bette Midler is still alive and kicking, and she is not the theme of beaches. She's the wind beneath our wings. So let us know what you think of Bette Midler. Let me know what you think of my look that I created with this mosaic palette. This was a $12.50 $12 palette featured and chosen for me. Yeah. You know, like when Ipsy chooses stuff for me, that's where it's at. I really like my look. It's very much a, a daytime in-person look. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this palette. I don't normally feel that way about eyeshadow palettes with Ipsy. Usually I try it once or twice and I'm like, okay, cool. It's in my back burner repertoire. But this I'm going to have fun with, especially considering its value. Oh my God. So let me know what you think of this palette. Let me know what you think of my ocean themed bag. Tell me what you got in your bag and what you thought of it. Let me know what you think of Bed Midler. I will see you next time, friends, on more spoilers and all that fun stuff that I produce. Oh, and thank you for watching me sniff things. Mm, this, uh, this is like an energy. That's how I get off. I, I sniff refreshments products. <laughs> I'll see you next time, friends. And here is the final shot of all my glam bag products. Just stay long enough to, to hear me sing your song. I sing it better than anybody. Well, almost anybody. Okay, oh, oh, that was funny. Oh, and please like this video if you did.